All right. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reduce the amount of points on objects inside Adobe Illustrator. And I have two objects here to show that or to illustrate that. This one, which has almost 40,000 points, which is a pretty extreme example. And then on the left here, I have a deer with looks like 206 points in the document info. And I'm mainly showing the deer to illustrate some of the considerations that you should be mindful of when reducing the amount of points because it can somewhat drastically alter the way the image looks. But we're gonna start with this giant one here with almost 40,000 points. And when it comes to a really intense object like this inside Illustrator, reducing the points basically helps Illustrator run much more smoothly, much more quickly. Even as I show this example, it's gonna run very slow because of how many points this thing has. So what you wanna to do to reduce the amount of points in an object is to highlight that particular object inside Illustrator. And then you wanna to go to Object. And from Object, you wanna to go to Path. And from path, you want to go to simplify. And now it's going to take just a second to open this up because this is a huge monster of an image. And this little bar that showed up right here is the very basic way of editing this. And by default, it goes to about the three quarters mark. And as you change this, it will tell you how many points it is changing to. So in this case, I moved it to the maximum quality, which is all the way to the right. My screen's going black because this is a crazy image. So it changed it from... Basically, if I look at my document info, it was 39,000 something points when I started. Now it's at 11,675. And the overall look of this particular image is extraordinarily similar as I went ahead and did that. So if I open up my Photoshop here, which is the thumbnail, on the left side is that image that I had opened up in Illustrator right here. The original of 40,000 points is on the left and on the right that same image just continued over is that image at 12,000 points. So while there are some really subtle differences in terms of basically the grit of the image, as far as most people are concerned, indistinguishable, where you have almost a quarter as many points with a nearly indistinguishable image. So you can make that trade off and decide if that's worth it to you. So that's by far the most easy way of doing this. And just as an example of what can happen if you are really, really aggressive when you reduce points. So right now it's at 11,000. I'm going to move this bar all the way to the left, which is going to be the most aggressive change. You can see that pretty drastically altered the way that this looks. It becomes much more muddled. There isn't as much distinction. And while the image has now just 7,700 points, which is still a lot, but it did cut down quite a bit from the 11,000 of this maximum render here. But I think that trade-off wasn't worth it because the image lost a lot of quality. It lost what it really looked like in the result of doing that. So in this case, just use your best judgment about what you think will look the best. But as a less extreme example, on the left here, I have this deer, which can be used to illustrate some of the more advanced options inside this. So in this case, the deer using the document info has 206 points. I'm going to select the deer. I'm going to go to object and then path. And then from object path, I'm going to go to simplify. In this case, I'm going to use a more advanced option where if you click the three dot menu for more options, it'll actually change the way that this looks. So here you have simplify curve and then curve point angle threshold. And it also below that will say the original amount of points. So 206 was the original and then the new is 39. So what I'm going to do is go to the preview box here and I'm going to uncheck preview. So that's the before and pay close attention to the deer's face as you can really see what this is starting to do when it simplifies. It simplifies the shapes perhaps a little bit more aggressively than I would like because you lose a little bit of the distinction and character of the original image. So what you can do is increase the simplify curve, which basically lets it do more aggressive curves as opposed to very simple curves. So to do that, you can move it all the way to the right, which will bring back some of the definition there. If I check preview again, so it went from basically this, where there's a little bit harsher angles, especially up here and on that ear. And if I go all the way to the right, it starts to smooth out the things to look a little bit closer to like I did before. If I go all the way to the left, it's a pretty extreme example where you lose a ton of what made the image look like the image in the first place, almost like a drastic geometric simplification of some sorts. So generally when I simplify things, I keep things near the maximum. And it still went from 206 points to 67 points, so that's really good. And then for corner point angle threshold, basically the further right, the more definition you get. Once again, in this case, the lips on the deer are once again the shape that they were before. It reduced it to 181 points as opposed to 206. 
Basically at this point, all it's doing is cleaning up points that didn't need to be there in the first place. When I was drawing it, I might've had points that were very, very close to each other just because of the way I was drawing at the time. So this will go ahead and reduce that. Where in the most extreme, or if I move these all the way down, it ends up with a really strange looking image. So I basically just play around with things, decide how aggressive do I wanna be with the point simplification. And then I can just go from that point to decide what I think is right to do for that particular image as I continue working. And in most cases, when it comes to a very simple image like this deer, reducing the points doesn't matter a whole lot because it's not gonna have a substantial effect on the speed at which Illustrator runs. If you wanna just clean up the points a little bit to make it a bit easier to adjust or work with, you can certainly do that. But in a case like this right side image where it's a really, really intense image with a ton of points, in that case, simplifying it can have a really drastic or dramatic difference because when it comes to intense images like this inside Illustrator, especially if you have multiple of those inside Illustrator, it can run incredibly slow. It can even cause Illustrator to crash sometimes as you try to move stuff around or make modifications. It freaks out because of the amount of points that it has to process with every single movement or change in that particular image. So in those cases, it's totally worthwhile and very valid to do. And also abstract images like this, much easier to do more dramatic changes as far as point reduction goes because you can't really tell a difference so well. Like in the Photoshop example, there's almost no visual difference between these two. The one on the right just looks a little bit more smooth as opposed to the one on the left looks a little bit more rough. But you watching this video, I wouldn't even expect you to be able to see that. But when you're dealing with something that represents an actual image, then you can really start to pay attention to the differences that happen. And also when you go to object and then path and then simplify and then go to the advanced options, there's also an option to show original path, which will just draw a line, which might be kind of faint on your screen, but it will show you the differences between the original and then the point reduction one. So you can make sure that those changes are changes that you're okay and happy with before you move forward. So that is it for this video. I do hope you found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, feel free to subscribe as I do my best to keep creating new content just like this. If you have further questions or comments, feel free to drop those in the comment section. Either I or someone else might be able to help you. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.